That's right. I'm back. And today is a federal holiday. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of those in our any of our military branches of service who have gone out there and given their time for us but today we're giving special thanks to those that have given their lives if y'all know anything about memorial day you know we observe it on the uh, last monday in may and again it's to honor those men and women who have died while serving our country Originally, and I just found this out, Memorial Day was known as Decoration Day, which actually originated back in the years following the Civil War. And didn't become an official federal holiday till year of our Lord, 1971, which is, I believe, also the year we went off of the gold standard. I don't know if there's any correlation there. Yo, then do me a favor. Would y'all do me just one little bitty, 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 bitty favor? Look down there. You see that thumbs up? That thumbs down? Hit it. Oh, leave me a comment. Let's talk about it. Maybe you didn't know where Memorial Day started and that it was called Decoration Day. And do me a bigger, bigger, bigger favor. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helped me out. You know, a lot of us, what we do on Memorial Day, you know, many people, especially people who have loved ones who have given their lives, visit cemeteries or memorials. And a lot of us hold family gatherings. Around here, you're going to see a lot of fish being fried and a lot of boats going up and down the lake. Families getting together. In fact, i got to pause this video right now because a family's out here having fun and they about to ride by on their boat. The Civil War, if y'all know, that ended in the spring of 1865 claim more lives than any conflict in U.S. history and require the establishment of the country's first national cemetery. You think of Civil War, you might think of Gettysburg, but did you know that the actual bloodiest, most deadly battle that occurred during the Civil War was the Battle of Antietam? Oh, and did you know that Memorial Day, although unofficially, Memorial Day unofficially marks the beginning of summer. Welcome to summer, y'all! By the late 1860s, they had Americans in various towns and cities beginning to hold springtime tributes to those countless fallen soldiers. Y'all know that Civil War touched every life and family in this country. A lot of fallen men. Oh. All races and creeds, all genders, everyone was affected and that can be said about many of the wars we've been to but considering that Memorial Day gets its roots in the Civil War that's why I bring it up these people would go and they decorate these fallen soldiers graves you know put flowers on them and they would sit there and pray and I don't know if y'all knew this but each year on Memorial Day a national moment of remembrance takes place at 3 o'clock p.m. I believe what was that be 1500 hours local time and I think that goes if you whatever time zone you're in 3 o'clock p.m. a little bit of uh, remembrance for these people get to the actual origins of Memorial Day which a lot of people seem to get confused with Labor Day regardless uh, it's actually unclear where the tradition that we just spoke of originated if numerous different communities they may have independently initiated you know these memorial gatherings we do have some records that show one of the earliest memorial day commemorations was organized by a group of formerly enslaved people in charleston south carolina less than a month after the confederacy surrendered in 1865. nevertheless regarding the origins in 1966 the federal government declared Waterloo, New York, the official birthplace of Memorial Day. There in Waterloo, they first celebrated the day on May 5th, 1866, and that was chosen because it hosted an annual community-wide event 
during which businesses closed and residents decorated the graves of soldiers, like I said, with flowers and flags. Then, where Decoration Day would come about? Well, if you go back to May 5th, 1868, there is a general, a Mr. John A. Logan, the leader of an organization for Northern Civil War veterans. He called for a nationwide day of remembrance later that month. The 30th of May, 1868, is designated for the purpose of strewing the fly with flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who had died in defense of their country during the late rebellion and whose bodies now lie in almost every city, village, and hamlet churchyard in the land. This is what he proclaimed. Well, like I said, he called this Decoration Day and basically said it actually wasn't put there to be the anniversary of any particular battle or anything like that. But on the first Decoration Day, General James Garfield, who I believe was going to end up becoming President of these United States, made a speech at Arlington National Cemetery and 5,000 participants decorated the graves of the 20,000 Civil War soldiers who were already buried there. Many northern states held similar commemorative events and reprised the tradition in subsequent years and by 1890 each one had made Decoration Day an official state holiday. Southern states on the other hand continued to honor the dead on separate days and this was until World War I was over. Then Memorial Day as we know Decoration Day gradually came to be known. Originally honoring only those who lost their lives while fighting in the Civil War. But during World War I, the United States found itself embroiled in another major conflict, which started evolving the holiday to not only commemorate those who gave their lives in the Civil War, but to commemorate all military personnel who died in all wars. And this went on to include the Second World War, the Vietnam War, Korean War, and those who gave their lives in more recent years in Iraq and Afghanistan and other places, you know, around the Middle East. For decades, Memorial Day continued to be observed on May 30th, the date that General Logan had selected for the first Decoration Day. But in 1968, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act which established Memorial Day as the last Monday in May in order to create a three-day weekend for federal employees. The change went into effect in, like I said, 1971. Same law there also declared Memorial Day a federal holiday. We have some different Memorial Day traditions as you might know of and you probably, you and your family may have your own Memorial Day tradition. That cities and towns across the United States host Memorial Day parades each year. Uh, we don't really do that around this town. Actually, what we do is we have a Memorial Day scramble where, you know, that means like you're playing golf and you're on a team and the best shot, you get to hit the ball from whoever hit the best shot and then you score it like that. I didn't play this year because... Man, I, I got I got my boy Saturday, and I, yeah, you think I'm going to give up some time with my boy to go play some golf? You better think again. No. But, like I said, there are still people, and I'm sure people to this day, who commemorate and observe Memorial Day by visiting cemeteries. If you're one of those people, and you had a loved one who was giving their life in service, of this country my heart goes out to you very much and thank you and your family for the tremendous sacrifice that you have given so that we can enjoy the freedoms that we do have I thank you all very much I just thought we Memorial Day we do a small brief history of it. I didn't know I was going to get a little bit emotional there at the end. Anyways, thank you 
thank you so much for anyone who has gone out there and given their lives for this country. And it don't matter how I feel about the war, if I like it, if I don't like it, which war it was, anything about the government, that ain't got nothing to do with these people and what they did and the ultimate sacrifice that they went through. I love each and every one of you. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you have a good one. It's T. Fitz. I'm out.